Agricultural runoffs coming from farms in rural areas pollute the surface of groundwater as well as areas downstream. Generally, the degradations are caused by organic waste such as decayed plants, livestock manure, dead animals, and pesticides. 37th of the total pollution load is generated by agricultural runoffs, with southern Tagalog and the Ilocos region topping the list. Industrial wastewater is generated by industries that abuse water bodies intensively. Manufacturing industries usually discharge their wastewater improperly through pipes or drains. In fact, most rivers monitored in Metro Manila and Central Luzon from 1996 to 2001 reflected unsatisfactory water quality based on dissolved and biochemical oxygen demand. Improperly discharged wastewater directly affects people's health, the environment, and the economy. Diseases linked to contamination of water are gastroenteritis, diarrhea, typhoid, cholera, dysentery, and hepatitis. Economic losses due to the pollution of water are estimated at 67 billion pesos. These include 3 billion pesos for health, fisheries production, and 4 billion pesos for tourism. The country's tourism industry is admired through its heaven-like beaches. If the waters would be polluted, then the tourists would go away, causing serious economic losses. This was what happened to Boracay marketed as one of the beautiful white sand beaches in the world. But in 1997, things changed unexpectedly. Tourists were alarmed that Boracay is getting dirtier than before. For tourism, no, a classic example is the case of uh, Boracay. We know that Boracay is being uh, used for uh, dating. No? Marami tayong tourists na pupunta sa Boracay. No? And uh, it is one of the best in the Philippines. So we are generating a lot of income from uh, tourists no? uh, going to Boracay. No? However, there was an incident uh, way back in uh, many years ago. Medyo mataas yung polyform count ng uh, Boracay waters. So napublicize yun and uh, nag-decline yung uh, pagdating ng tourist sa Boracay. So, may impact talaga ng no, water pollution sa tourism natin.